Okay, this problem asks, how much work is done by the gravitational force on a 3.3 gram acorn as it falls 6.2 meters from a tree? All right, so here's my tree. Beautiful tree. There is the acorn. And the acorn falls from here down to there. That sounds like a displacement vector right there. Okay, and let's see, we have the mass of the acorn, that's 3.3 grams. I better convert that to kilograms to keep the units consistent here. So remember to convert to kilograms, you move the decimal place three times. So zero point, so if you imagine moving it, one, two, three. So zero, zero, three, three, kilograms, right? One, two, three, bring me back where I was, yeah. So that's the conversion to kilograms. And then the magnitude of the displacement here is 6.2 meters. Okay, and that's all I know uh, given to me in the problem. And I wanna know the work done by the gravitational force. Okay, so the work done by gravitational force, I'll put a little subscript G here to denote that that's the work done by the gravitational force. And so that is the magnitude of the gravitational force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of phi. Okay, now remember phi is the smaller angle between the magnitude of the force, or sorry, between the force vector and the displacement vector when they're placed so their tails coincide. Okay, so let's figure out what that angle is. So my displacement vector is going straight down like that. And let's see, the gravitational force, that's uh, also pointing straight down. And so that tells me that my angle is zero degrees. Okay, and so now I think I'm almost ready to plug in. Uh, I can just rewrite one more thing here. I know that the gravitational force, that's just the weight, so that's m times g, and then this stays the same. Okay, now I'm ready to plug in. So the mass is 0 0.0033 kilograms, and then the displacement is 6.2 meters, and oops, I forgot to include g. Let's put g in there, 9.81 meters per second squared, and then the cosine of zero degrees, okay. And so now I can type this into my calculator. Let me do that right now. And so 0 0.0033 times 6.2 times 9.81, and then the cosine of zero is one, so I don't need to put that in. And I get 0 0.20, and uh, I'll round it to that, joules.